Hello, Mercy family. Wow. These are some incredible days that we haven't seen the likes of anything before. I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm really missing all of you. Uh, here I am in church, and you are not here. And um, I know, however, that uh, while you can't be at Mercy right now, I know that Mercy is in the hearts of all of you. Today's the Feast of St. Joseph, the patron saint of protector of the Holy Family and of Holy Mother Church. It's one of my favorite feast days in all of the church calendar. And so today on this Feast of St. Joseph, I thought it was appropriate to kind of send a little shout out to all of you and to let you know that um, you're being thought of and you're very much missed. And I can't wait for the day in which we'll all be back together in our beautiful church to give God glory and to celebrate Eucharist. I know that so many of you out there are uh, missing Mass, in a, that you have a hunger for the Eucharist, and, and that I know that you can't wait to get back here. Neither can I. You know, St. Joseph, uh, whenever we read about him in the Scripture, uh, he's such a great example and role model for what's taking place today is because it seemed to always be chaos uh, whenever St. Joseph had to do something important for God. And I think whenever we read in the scriptures, God is so often found in the chaos. And yet Joseph uh, was a man of obedience and faithfulness, trusting in the Lord's plan. I think that's what we have to be right now. We have to trust in the Lord and we have to be obedient to him. And so um, I just wanted to say that um, I am thinking of all of you and I can't wait for us to be together again. Um, I know that uh, you miss mercy. Mercy lives in you. We will be all the stronger when all of this is over. Just want to say that um, we've been very fortunate to have the direction of our bishop. It takes a brave leader to take the actions that he's made, and yet he's done all of that really for the good of all of us. And so um, I ask you to please uh, obey the directives of the bishop and of the governor and the mayor so that we can move beyond this very difficult time. I think we're going to leave all of this with a whole lot of more appreciation of so many little things that we've taken for granted. I want to give a shout out to, to all my teachers out there. We really miss you. And I think a lot of people realize uh, just how much you do every day. I want to give a shout out to all of our people who are working you know, in the medical profession, whose thoughts and prayers you really are with us right now in this time. And also, I just want to thank and shout out all of those, uh, in our many friends and parishioners in the restaurant business, the wonderful wait staffs, all of those people, everybody right now who's being affected. We hold everyone in our hearts and prayers that when this is over, we're gonna be better, stronger, more loving, more kind, and taking nothing in life for granted. From the simplest things as a handshake to a hug, and we can't wait to be able to sit close together in Tiger Stadium and to be able to yell and scream for the Tigers. And so I give you all a big shout out and I can't wait for us to be back together. My prayer is that through the intercession of St. Joseph, God will keep all of our families safe, that he will remove the anxiety that is within so many of us and that God's healing hand will be upon those who are ill and suffering. Our Lady of Mercy, Pray for us. St. Joseph, protector of the church and the Holy Family and our families, pray for us. God bless you.